I'm meteorologist Monica Woods and we're looking at some changes again for our work week forecast in the short term. It's going to stay mostly sunny along the coast, a light breeze for the valley, beautiful fall colors for the foothills and mild for the Sierra. Talking about those fall colors, we really have some spectacular scenes out there right now. Had some fresh snow last week and so we're still looking kind of at the tail end of some color in the higher elevations. This is a look at Bishop Creek Canyon from Jeff Simpson and a look at Mammoth Mountain, which is pretty close to Bishop's Creek Canyon. You can see the snow just kind of highlighted with some of those beautiful fall colors still hanging on by a thread basically on those trees. June Lake Loop also in Mono County. Beautiful scenes there. That snow with the landscape of the tree colors is just dynamic here as those drives throughout the high country are really illuminated by that color. Love to see the wildlife out there as well in Virginia Lakes. Again, most of this is going to be for the higher elevations. It is starting to move down the hill, though. Lundy Lake also showcasing some beautiful yellows out there. And more rain and snow on the way. So some of that fall color is going to be falling pretty quickly in the higher elevations. Now, in terms of our average peak fall color. It's moving down the hill at a pace of about 500 to 1,000 feet. It really is dependent on wind events as well as the temperatures. But in general, we'll see our fall color finally make it to the valley floor somewhere around early November. So we still have a couple of weeks to go until we see that come down the hill quite a bit. Again, we're going to be tracking a couple of di different weather systems. One comes in for the middle of the week. This is going to predominantly be a factor for Southern California, but stretch all the way into almost Northern California kind of riding that I-80 line. We'll see a chance of some showers develop mainly for the central and southern Sierra. A light dusting of snow. That's about it. This isn't a huge system and it's out of here pretty quickly only for about a 24 to 36 hour time frame there. A much bigger system on the move, though, diving out of the Pacific. This is a classic atmospheric river. Now, the potential is there for bigger impacts, including widespread rain and snow. Uh, uh, consider your travel and outdoor plans for the weekend. This starts up on Friday. And again, this is a pretty classic atmospheric river. It's going to be moving its way in late Friday through Saturday and Sunday. But there is a lot of uncertainty with these weather uh, models here. You can see the European model is moving that storm right through northern and central California, whereas the global forecast model that is going to keep it well to the north. And that one in particular has really been pulling back on the opportunity of heavy rain and snow and through the capital region. So our weather changes are on the move. Moderate to high confidence, we will get cooler than average temperatures and at least some showers. Lower confidence on rain and snow totals, as well as the timing and duration. How long does this stick around? Is it going to be a 24, 36, 48 hour event? That will all continue to come into alignment as we head into the end of the week. In the meantime, Got a beautiful Tuesday on tap. Highs will be near 70 up top for this year. 70s and 80s down low, just a little bit above average. Now we're still dry for our Tuesday in Yosemite. Expect some snow showers, though, into our Wednesday. We'll see highs in the 80s for the Central Valley, including the San Joaquin Valley, with highs right around the low to mid 80s. Central Coast, we're still dry. Nice light breeze will continue to keep us with minimal fog. We'll see our highs in the 60s and 70s, 80s inland. Bay Area forecast highs are going to stay in the 70s in in eight areas in the 80s and our northwest coast right around 70 to 75 degrees. Our north end of the valley will be in the 80s and our capital region pretty close to actually those conditions as well will stay in the lower 80s. We see a pretty big change though coming our way for the weekend outlook with a drop in temperatures. Again, that weak weather system brushes us on Wednesday, but the bigger event still looming for Saturday and Sunday that could really open things up for the opportunity of some bigger rain and snowfall totals. We'll keep an eye on that. In the meantime, some great fall weather out there.